now that passport request has dropped what do you pack <laughs> the journey begins <laughs> anyway it's about to be a long one so first i'm drinking water hey yo thank you so much for popping in my name is dupe and i'm in nigeria living in canada as a permanent resident and i post about whatever it is that you want to know about living in canada and my life here in canada so this this particular video i'm breaking it down into uh, how many now about three categories so um i will be giving you some tips on travel the first thing that i particularly want to talk about is how you can move your property to canada you know coming here you are basically coming into an empty apartment you don't have anything no mattress no furnitures nothing nothing you're just here right and i've seen that some people try to make this their transition easy for them so if it's something if it's an an option that you think you might explore you may try to cargo see cargo your properties and it's going to get here in like two to three months so um some people pack their mattress their sofas um kitchen utensils down to spoons and plates if you can pack all of those you just know that when you are coming here you're basically just bringing putting all your properties that you are using in nigeria you're bringing it down to this place and put it in your home here you don't have to start entering into debt the moment to get here yeah i said that because when you get here before you start purchasing anything you would want to get a credit card so that you can at least purchase some things for the house if you already have all of those things from the country you are coming in from so why should you start getting into debt the moment to come in here furnishing house is expensive so if you have the means to ship your properties from your country down to canada and you weigh the cost effect you weigh your options properly think about it basically just do that the only thing you might want to think twice before bringing out your appliances because here firstly the voltage here is 110 in nigeria it's 200 to 220 here is about 100 to 110 so you know the appliances you are bringing in from country like nigeria it will not work here except you get a transformer a step down transformer or something for here to make it work otherwise you may end up burning down the house <laughs> so you may want to think twice before you bring in any electrical appliances and number two um this is the kind of plug that we use here no other thing works this is the kind of plug that we use here so if you are coming with plugs maybe your charger your laptop charger your phone charger or any other thing that have a plug that you are bringing in you should definitely get an adapter that have this mouth for you to to use number two clothing nigerians nigeria <laughs> okay the moment you've seen green lights or you already know that the green light is coming you'll be seeing it like this that's turn to hamba they're about to go green <laughs> your pp hair is coming starts dashing out all of your clothes you won't be needing them here <laughs> oh god so, naja clothes is basically like summer clothes you know summer is pretty short the other period is like june to august they're about the other periods are like spring and it's cold it's warm it's cold it's warm the major part of the year is cold and you know how our clothes in nigeria is basically summer clothes so you won't be needing all those clothes when you get here you will start dressing like homeless <laughs> everyone is wearing monochrome <laughs> is it that you're wearing black or you're wearing blue <laughs> so no matter what you wear underneath nobody sees it what is important is a jacket just retain clothes that you can wear during summer you are still new so there are no parties for you to go to no event for you to go to even if there are events you would not necessarily want to wear your native for that event you'll be needing more of t-shirts pullovers cardigans you should be bringing just few clothes you only need few clothes 
otherwise just turn yourself into a youtuber so that you can have reason to wear your clothes like me yes i intentionally wore these clothes for this video <laughs> because it's been sitting down in the house for for how long now also what do you do with your shoes dash them out dash your shoes out here in canada the only thing that needs to shine is your face your shoe i don't know and when you are coming <laughs> <laughs> for the few shoes that you are going to come with make sure that they still have life they are still very very strong because keeping your shoe here safe you get a cbc i only brought two shoes one don't spoil for inside house even the shoes self, i haven't had any reason to wear them the only day i wanted to wear this one was my birthday and then it's spoiled. what you'll be needing more are this type of shoes so dash out your clothes dash out your shoes come with flat come with this you only need few flat shoes few this and maybe two heels so all the space that your clothes and shoes would normally take you know what you want to do with them pack food pack food because coming here you don't want to start spending money on food you don't have enough canadian dollar to start spending on food anyway because you you just converted your one million naira into canadian dollar and that is not money here so you want to make sure that you are coming with food it's not that food is a problem food is available ladies and gentlemen this is hero here but in canada this is ogbono ogbono here but in canada canada is a diverse society so you pretty much find anything that you are looking for at least 80 percent of the things that you will probably need it is available here in canada either you're african or haitian or anything there are stores that are catering for us already but because you are just coming in newly and you don't want to start spending so much money then let's talk about food that you might be bringing in what you want to avoid bringing in is anything chicken when you're coming into canada anything that has chicken in it forget it not chicken indomie chicken whatever it is that they call something something chicken even if there's no chicken inside but they just wrote chicken or they don't just bother to bring it bring it in and also make sure that if you are bringing in something like beans or food that can easily have bugs um that have weevils and all that make sure that the grains that you are bringing in are very clean otherwise they will take it down i think you can bring in dry fish crayfish cameroon pepper no cubes not no chicken you can bring it your egg eggsy milo coconut oil your shea butter semo elubo gari don't forget your herbs and spices do not forget all those ones see anything that have leaves that you want to bring in you can fly in with them there are ones that you may want to cargo if you are going to do cargo for your food or anything make sure that you ask the cargo company what they carry because i used a cargo company and all of my teas they didn't let me bring them in they took it out i didn't even know i left them in nigeria and i asked someone to to help me send them and then they were taking down my peppermint tea they were taking down my appliances yeah i remember so if you are bringing in appliances maybe your hand dryer or something fly with them don't cargo it put them in your box instead do not cargo it your vegetables bring them with you don't cargo it they won't take it away from you don't cargo it your palm oil you can bring in palm oil just make sure that you freeze it now for all of your food you also want to split them into to the ones that will come via cargo and the ones that you will fly with so make sure that the ones that you will fly with are also the ones that you will need nikia kia the moment that you get here you're going to need them so you don't have to be waiting for your cargo goods to arrive and then you will be you open your mouth and be hungry another thing you want to bring in are your medications please don't forget to bring in your medications and come with extras i said come with extras because having access to medication here is in two ways one prescription the other one over the counter so if the kind of medications that you are taking fall under the category of prescriptions and you are yet to have a family doctor that can give you a prescription to go to the pharmacy to pick it up you will be lagging in that area right so come with 
extras come with your medication if you have children come with their medication and hard extras to at least last you for another one month after you get here um i know some people bring in anti-malaria but let me tell you if you fall sick here your problem is not malaria it's just change of environment and if you come in during winter yes you may likely feel like you have malaria because your body will ache you. your body may pay you it's not malaria so and you may also want to come with paracetamol and all of that so you don't just have to start running at asket and looking for medications up and down so let's talk about your personal effects you have your transcripts your driver's license your medical records your immunization card maybe for your kids or even yourself or anything just make sure that you have all of those at hand and other important things there are some things that may be important to you like myself now i made sure that the first that i picked was my mom's sweater it was important to me to have something of her with me here so you may want to pack your family pictures you're going to need your bed sheets your towels your toothpaste brush don't forget all of that. I came here with Dudu's in two packs. It's been about eight or nine months now, and I'm still using them. I came here with my sanitary pads. I haven't bought sanitary pads since I got here. You know what I'm going to do? I am going to put the list of all the things that you will probably need. I will put them in the description or maybe even in the comment section so that you can easily access it. You can just copy it and paste it on your phone. And then when you are packing your stuff, when you are packing your load be smart with it see all those boxes they are heavy they have weight don't use them get bags like this one see they barely have weight and they have enough space <laughs> this my bag contains 30 kg worth of goods here so you want to get something like this to fly with because your boxes they take up weight some are like 2 kg some even 5 kg i think my husband have one that's like 7 kg all these ones make sense for you to pack your load you don't need to do a call you are bringing in things here don't do a call when you get to airport or you think that people will be looking at you carrying ghana must go people are there with ghana must go people are there with sack so have sense your baggage allowance is not enough it's always not enough so all the things that you will easily need when you are coming in put them in your backpack maybe your chargers your documents children's needs your medication if you're going to be needing medication while you are traveling put everything in your hand luggage so that you can easily have access to them bring in your socks and your cardigans especially if you will be coming in during winter you want to make sure that you are protected even during layover so make sure that anything that to ease your movement you have them very close to you in your hand luggage you can buy winter clothes from nigeria before coming and you can also decide not to buy them and come and buy them here i would advise that you come and buy your winter clothes here because this is their weather and they have clothes suitable for their weather then the second thing is winter clothes are heavy so if you buy winter clothes from nigeria it's still going to take space here you need that space for food sorry i'm talking about food it's because yes i like food who doesn't like food so what i'm going to do in the comment section is to break all of this down for you and you can easily just copy and paste it inside your phone i hope that this video is helpful thank you so much guys for watching if you are new here hit that subscribe button and turn your notification so you can always know whenever a new video goes up i'll see you in my next one bye